bring you some breaking news once again. You can see on the uh, screens there that multiple rockets have been fired from Lebanon towards Israel, uh, particularly in Haifa as well as Haifa Bay. And uh, apparently the sirens have sounded in the city of Haifa as well as as well as the bay and other areas across Israel. We also understand that one rocket uh, was uh, uh, sent and it hit uh, close to Haifa Bay in an area uh, called uh, Kiryat Atta. That's according to Israeli media and a car has been set on fire as a result of that rocket attack uh, from Lebanon. We'll bring in our uh, um, correspondent, Noor Oudeh, who's joining us so once again from Amman. Noor, you're keeping an eye out on the situation in Israel. Uh, what more do you have for us at this hour? Well, we can confirm that there was a direct impact in the Kiryatata area, which is in the Haifa Bay area. Um, uh, one person was lightly injured. There's also a light injury in the Shlomi uh, town, which is in northern Israel, also from that volley of rockets. We're not sure if what hit that building um, in Kiryat Atta was the actual rocket or the interceptor uh, that was that, uh, you know, the, the Israeli uh, defense system fires to intercept those rockets. But certainly the images show a fire um, and the building hit. Again, we have to, uh, let's remind our viewers, Israel has a very sophisticated, multi-layered air defense system. It launches rockets, that Iron Dome system, when uh, it can intercept, when it can detect that there are rockets being fired in the direction of Israeli towns. It hits um, and intercepts a lot of those rockets, but not all the time. And sometimes those interceptor uh, rockets hit areas uh, that were that it's supposed to protect. So we're still waiting for confirmation what exactly hit that building in Kiryat Atta, but we can confirm, according to Israeli sources, that a building was hit, one person was lightly in injured. This is in the Haifa Bay Area, and it comes after a day of remarkable developments that we've been bringing to our viewers here on Al Jazeera. Yeah, and Nuda, there are also reports that sirens uh, have sounded uh, in other areas of course, outside of Haifa and uh, in uh, particularly, though, in sort of the, yeah. the north of Israel. Is that what you're hearing? Yes, about 20 towns in total uh, heard sirens and received notifications that rockets could fall in their vicinity. That is in the Upper Galilee, in the Central Galilee area, and in the greater Haifa area. This is, we're talking about an area that is home to hundreds of thousands of people. Haifa alone has about 300,000 residents, the city itself. So this is a, a large area, large population. Um, and after the initial reports in the morning of that drone attack, uh, where a, one of them was not intercepted, it directly hit its target, which was the home of the Israeli prime minister. The residents would be on edge, and as soon as they hear these, these sirens, they would go to the shelters nearby if they are available. There are a lot of Palestinian Israeli towns and villages in that area that do not have those shelters, so that is also something to keep in mind. What's been the impact of that drone attack on the prime minister's residence? You've been reporting that there is a heavy military censorship right now on that incident by the Israelis. But what are we yeah. learning at this hour? Well, I mean, we're learning not just of the frustration, but of the concern. This is a very a uh, significant message from Hezbollah uh, the, that it can strike, it can reach its targets, and it knows what it's hitting. Um, and this reminds, I think, Israelis and all of us who are following this story of the various videos uh, published by the Lebanese organization of drones surveilling uh, Israeli territory and picking significant strategic targets, military mostly, whether it's in the Haifa Bay Area where the Navy uh, is housed, whether it's military installations, bases, uh, military industry, 
but now also the house, the residence, the private residence of the Israeli prime minister. So there will be a lot of questions. Today is a Saturday. It is holiday. It's also a religious holiday in Israel this Saturday. And so there aren't a lot of uh, discussions and media reports. But come Sunday, no doubt, there will be a lot of questions raised about where is all of this going. And the Israeli government promised the residents and the citizens of Israel that they would return them to the towns in northern Israel. What is happening in the past few weeks is that more residents are going to the shelters, more residents are affected now than they were when the escalation with Lebanon started. So a lot of questions, a lot of strategic messages, really. And many observers are pointing to a new phase, perhaps, in this escalation with that targeting of the Israeli prime minister's house, Nadi. So are we getting a sense of what sort of response may be coming from the Israelis? And have we heard anything official about uh, this targeting? And... Um... Another question for you. Do we know where Netanyahu even was at the time the drone was sent over from Lebanon? Well, Netanyahu and his office took a very long time to answer the many questions of the Israeli media for over an hour. Uh, no word from the Israeli prime minister's office on his whereabouts at the time of the attack. And that really gave us the initial um, confirmation or indication that it was actually his home that was hit. We finally heard at the top of the hour from the Israeli prime minister's office saying that that, that house was in fact targeted, but the, the prime minister and his family were not in Caesarea at the time of the drone attack. We know that uh, sometimes he does not spend weekends in Caesarea. He actually spends it in uh, West Jerusalem or in homes, very fortified homes of business people he is friends with. So we know that he wasn't there. There were no injuries, but the strategic implications of that drone strike, the message that was received would have been not lost on anybody in Israel today. Okay, Noor, stand by for just a moment because uh, we're going to show uh, the pictures right now. Actually, the pictures on the, our screen, uh, there they are. That is the scene from uh, Kiryat Atta. So that area is in the Haifa Bay. And uh, Israeli media is reporting that a car caught fire, as you can see. And uh, apparently two people now have been injured as a result of a rocket fired from Lebanon towards that area, Kiryat Atta in the Haifa Bay. An eyewitness has also uh, told uh, Israeli radio that a building was hit in Kiryat Atta and a fire broke out in the place, as you can see on that video right there, and uh, a, a fire broke out as a result of a, a car as well uh, that was also struck uh, by that uh, drone, or by that rocket, rather, that was sent over from Lebanon.